Okay. We have just killed Chuck. Oh my god, piss off. I've just turned the tutorials off. It really pisses me off that they just keep turning themselves back on. So we've just killed Chuck. And now I'm going to rescue the guys in the knife shop in the Palisades. That's great. And I'll take my knife gloves to show off. I'm at the wrong end. <laughs> the knife shop is right at the other end of this mall. I thought there was a key up there. There is, however, a key there. Nice. Go ahead. Frank, there's a group of four guys barricaded in a store in the South Plaza. They're all huddled around something. Sword. And give me that machete. Sweet. That is a sweet hat. Hoi, asshole! Take that machete. You can handle yourself, so you can have a broadsword. Let me think. What's the quickest way to get there? Right, it's to run round in a big circle because I'm a fucking idiot. Ah, no, no, it's not. It's to go out of the maintenance room over here. I have no idea what I just got that environment, <laughs> environment bonus for. I haven't got a clue what I got it for. Always drop into the uh, maintenance rooms when you go past them because m the vast, vast majority of them will have the means to make a combo weapon of some description inside them. To be honest, when I was playing this game the first time, I went straight into. Whoops, I've left one of them behind. I went straight into sandbox mode and just basically experimented with building different combo weapons and figuring them all out for myself. 
Very rewarding, actually. Come on, you fools. Kinda sucks that uh, survivors won't take combo weapons from you because that would be really funny. Some of them, some of the more ridiculous ones especially. I would be greatly, greatly amused. If you're unaware, uh, one of the weapons is essentially a dildo cannon. And I would... I would love to see survivors running around with a dildo cannon. Now you see why I said I had to kill Chuck. Because can you imagine trying to escort these two dozy bastards across here? While Fuckface is driving around on a motorbike with fucking chainsaws attached to it. Uh... I may be able to withstand a few hits from it, but I don't think stupid, dumbass survivors can. Pretty sure it could kill them instantly. If I spy any decent weapons on my way, I should get them. Handguns would be nice, if I can see any. Failing that, sharp things. Or oh, sledgehammers. Sledgehammers would be nice. Just been in the friggin' palisades. You know, I'm a nerd and I'm a little offended at these nerd stereotypes, but at the same time, I find them frankly fucking hilarious. The stereotypes do, of course, exist for a reason. Go over there. This might not be the best time for games. I like his shoes. <laughs> oh, there's a fucking looter. Piss. What is this game? You can have a sledgehammer. You can have a sledgehammer. You can have a knife, but you need to give me it back because I want to make something with it. And you can have a sledgehammer. Actually, you can have a katana. Give me that damn knife!
Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? 6.30, I have an hour. Hmm. Do I have time to go back and get him? I won't do it because it's a little bit risky running around with six survivors. Two of them fucking stuck over there. Or they're just being very fucking slow. Oh, they're being slow. I would use this weapon, but I don't know if it'll hurt the survivors. Let's find out. Uh, I think it does hurt them. Yep, because Kenneth just attacked me. <laughs> Come on, you fucking fools. Come on! I will cut through the the burger place just in case I need to heal any of them. I may need to heal. Who was that one? The one with the. Oh, it's Jack. Yeah, Jack needs healing. Can I actually target Jack instead of accidentally giving the burger to someone else? Eat that. Here, add another one. Fool. Hey, I'd be may maybe playing as a vegan in this run. But I'm a non-judgmental vegan, and I will force other people to eat hamburgers out of convenience. Go, that way. Oh, fuck, John's caught. Oh, he's dressed in a, a lab coat with big, like, scientist gloves on. He's buff as fuck. <laughs> he's like a buff nerd. You give me the katana back. It's the, shit. Uh, the rest of you, swords, machetes, sledgehammers, yeah, you can keep those. I don't want them. Actually, no, 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 no. I will... Give me one of the sledgehammers back. Right, you know Screw it, give me two of the sledgehammers back. I can make some defilers. <clears throat>
I don't know if I'm imagining this, so don't take my word for this. I may be talking shit. <laughs> but it seems that if you escort large groups, you get more PP for it. What's up? I see two guys in from Fortune with Love at the theme park. I'm not sure if they're laughing or fighting. Which, of course, would make sense. Yes! Beauty! Right, that case is about to start, so I'll just hang around out the front of here. As well as this. going on? I'm pretty sure I saw somebody dragging a girl into the washroom over here. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, maybe if we watch these monitors for a minute. What the hell? Hey, that's the guy I saw taking money from TK. Oh, no, not him. He's part of Cure. He's part of Cure? I thought you said you were being set up. Frank, that guy was a new recruit. I never saw him before this protest. <sighs> yeah, that's a good one. Of course. TK must have planted this guy in our group to do his dirty work. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna find out what he knows about this. Frank, be careful. It looks like he's gone off the deep end. I like how Frank doesn't trust anyone. <laughs> and of course, he had to put that catchphrase in at some point. Give me the milk. Give me the coffee creamer. Give me some more milk. I've got knife gloves, uh, two defilers, and a katana. I should be okay. Let's get that guy first, then we'll get the other two, and I'll shove him in a corner somewhere while I fight the psychopath. I may be able to lock them in a maintenance room because they're stupid and don't know how to open doors. Which is pretty useful, because zombies don't know how to open doors either. So if you can get survivors into a maintenance room and shut the door, they're probably going to be safe. Can I go through the door in this? No, it's too big.
Ah, it must be seven o'clock. The zombies get stronger at seven o'clock, don't they? I assure you, I will get the posters and the PP stickers in the outside areas later in the game when I have a big time slot to kill. There are some places I don't want to hang around if I can help it. Because if you're hanging around in an area and there's a case like due to spawn in that area, it won't. And that's really annoying and stupid. And of course, there's looters in the gun shop, the one place you might want to actually be. Uh, right, that's going to break, so we'll get rid of it. Oh, we don't need spray paints, we'll get rid of that. This area actually has the means to make infinite quick steps, because you can get as much milk as you want from that food shop. Then come down here and mix it up. Is that supposed to be acceptable? I haven't cried like that since I got kicked in the junk. This is so great. <laughs> Will he react if I get this painting and whack a zombie with it? I don't think he gives a shit. <laughs> but that is pretty funny. Ah, they should have programmed in a reaction where he'd cry or something. Because that would have amused me. It would have amused me greatly. Axes, please, they will be useful for survivors as well. See, I don't fob my survivors off with shitty weapons. Going to the Uranus Zone, and I read it like the Uranus Zone. And while we're there, we can go to the bank and use all these keys that we found to get lots of money and prizes. Stay there. Oh, for fuck's sake, he's caught. Oh, you can take that piss! I 
Okay, there's a couple of things I can do, actually, while I'm here. Let me think. Stay over there. You stay there. Anything else vegan kicking around? Chips? Yeah, they'll do. Get out of my way. Frank, you better get to the pub of gold in the silver strip. There's a guy hiding out in there. Looks like he's bleeding. Zombrex. Zombrex. Take the gun, you fool. So great. Quick, follow me. Meat. Straight up. What does a vegan zombie eat? Grains. All right, and your joke. What do sloppy zombies get on their clothes when they eat? Stains. Yeah, the vegan joke is so much better. You can have the trophy. So you're a sore loser. Oh, awesome. oh, seriously cool. Have a battle axe, you fucking cry, baby. Press Y, otherwise they will try and follow you. You two, no three. Idiot. Stay in there. Where it's safe. I've got another key to get. I will go to the bank, then I will fight the psychopath. Ooh, coffee. Mm. Coffee's vegan. Ah, uh, damn budget cuts. Uh. Mm, sniper rifle. That'll be good to give to a survivor. I personally don't really like to use sniper rifles. Because they're incredibly awkward to use. While I'm up here, I'll get one of the awkward pictures. Whoa. 
No, I'll jump off the roof. No, I didn't. I nearly did, though. This picture's so awkward to get. There it is. Nice job! Yeah, the reason I wasn't so fussed about having to pay five grand for that guy is because of this money case. <laughs> Give me the key. Give me another shotgun. This door's locked from the outside, incidentally. Right, okay. Psychopath time. He's in these toilets. In the original, he's in the Americana to uh, toilets, but they moved him to these ones in this one. Not 100% sure why, but they did. The movement is growing. Soon, we'll all be part of the change. Hey, you, uh, you all right? Doing it with hands. I have the guts, and I'm taking this thing all the way. Now, in the original one, she doesn't die. You can save her. Oh, I like that. Save that one. Get off me, you hit me! Uh. Ah, he's got me in a corner. Get, 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 get off, get off! Prick. Uh -huh, you got bit, you're a twat. 